Hey guys, welcome. Glad you're here. Glad you stopped by clicking on my ugly face. Well, my freshly shaven ugly face. I really wish I didn't shave my beard now. Like, I regret it. I really do. Like, every time I shave, and it's not very often, uh, I always regret it afterwards. And, I, you know, I, I'll let it grow out, and then I'm like, ah, I'm going to let it grow out for good. And I obviously don't do that. Um, guys, um, I want to go ahead and say uh, these last five days um, has been pretty crazy for me. Uh, my body, I feel like it's starting to get used to the soreness after day five, um, well, day four. Um, and today, uh, I haven't really, I, I have some soreness in my arms. Um, I have been, uh, you know, I got to uh, train a little bit with uh, Chad. Um and since he's been out with his knee, um, he hasn't really been able to, but he's uh, working, uh, still working on his upper body and strength stuff. Um, and I have full confidence that he'll be able to come in the 24th and just knock the socks out of Sweetie. Um, <laughs> so, again, like I said, my, my body, um, it feels kind of good. I, I've kind of noticed some things, uh, and it's really weird because it's, only been a few days, uh, but I kind of feel like it's helped me out mentally. Um, you know, since I haven't been able to train more of Chad, um, you know, Monty uh, has stepped up. Um, she got some mitts and she's helping me. She actually took a lot of notes uh, the first day with uh, me and Chad. And, you know, I've been doing that shadow boxing. I actually was in a pool. Last two days, we've been doing a lot of cardio, and it's been in the pool, um, and, you know, we did some uh, sparring yesterday for about a half an hour. Um, it, we was out in the heat, though. We actually went to a local uh, park, well, basketball court there in uh, Colgrove, which is close to Ironton, and it was hot. We we, we play it. We uh, sparred for probably about 30 minutes until the heat absolutely rose to this. Um, but today, uh, we got in a pool today again for maybe almost three or four hours. And uh, for a majority of that time, I actually had these, uh, they look like barbells um, or hand weights. And <clears throat> they're, they help with resistance. So I was shadow boxing in the pool uh, trying to move around my feet and just kind of learn how to do things. Um, you know, it's a little bit slower, but that was that resistance with those, uh, in the pool, which was pretty cool. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm starting to get a ha hang of some things, um, just some of the jabs and, um, stuff like that. Uh, I, I one of the things I have a problem with is, and Chad mentioned this is, I think too much about what's going on. Um, and I know it's a good idea to think about things. Like, I know that because, you know, you want to anticipate things. But right now, I'm not working on instinct. And a lot of that stuff, eventually, I'm assuming, is going to be in it from instinct. Um, rather, my, my thing right now, I can't... Um, I'm not very good at ducking. Um, at, Monty is shorter than I am. Um, I think she's 5'4", and... You know, I'm 5'9". Um, she's, <laughs> Sweetie's uh, about as tall as Monty. Um, but uh, we, she, she's been really great. I feel really weird using my boxing gloves and punching uh, the mitts that she's using because I don't want to, not. it's weird just be like, hey, you're, you're punching your girlfriend. Uh, it freaks me out a little bit. Um, she says, you know, that my jab is really strong, and I try to lighten up on it, um, but for some odd reason, I feel like I have to go all in, and, um, you know, I haven't heard her or anything, and, you know, she's she's just been doing it, um, she said her arm's a little bit sore, uh, but we're only hitting the mitts, um, for, for right now, which we're not, we're not going to be punching Monty, uh, with <laughs> at all, we're not punching Monty. It's not happening. Uh, we'll, we'll do the mitts, but as far as it goes, everything else, uh, that's not happening. Um, 
you know, I know eventually it's going to be harder and harder as time goes, but I feel like my body will eventually get used to it. I've been trying to eat a whole lot better. Uh, I haven't drank soda for a couple days, maybe three or four days. Um, well, it was it was the uh, it was with the stream with Chad. That was the last day I had the a soda, and that's when he was on stream and he said, "Hey, stop drinking soda." I haven't drank a soda since. Um, mainly been drinking um, water enhancers like uh, a Gatorade, but it's like zero. Um, these Body Armor lights. Uh, which is pretty pretty good, and I've been eating like mainly this uh, chicken, a lot of chicken, um, and other things. Um, the only thing is, is like the only real chicken I could find without cooking. Um, you know, it does have some breading on it, which you know I try to not do breading, but um, yeah, eventually I'm gonna have to completely stop the breading. Uh, but I don't really eat that much during the day. We usually have one meal and maybe some snacks or something like that. But it's it's it, I feel like it's paying off. I feel like you know we keep going this route, keep going the way we are. Uh, hopefully by September, which we as of right now we don't have a solidified fight. We know that we both agree to fight. Uh, we're both in it for the charity. We're not here to make money or bet on it to make money off a charity fight. That's just not happening. We're not like that. And I'm, and I'm sure Josh will agree. Um, you know, it, it made it made my blood boil. And we already talked about it the other day. Um, it's just, and then I'll reiterate, like it made my blood boil seeing somebody that's willing to get a bookie and bet on a St. Jude's charity fight. So he's basically always only was going to give like 20% to charity, which that is really, and I'm going to say this, it's fucked up. It really is. <clears throat> you know, these kids, um, you know, going through something that they shouldn't be going through, and, you know, life and death. And all he can think about is money, 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 money. And, you know, don't, don't even get me started on how he's treating that little dog, man. Uh, that that burns me up, too, like dragging that little thing. Um, it's, it's, it's disturbing, like it really is. And, you know, he keeps on saying all these things that he's such a great person. And there's the, there you go with the morality. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand. I, I, I guess I'm not smart enough since you know sweetie is the smartest but he could tr train a dog in two minutes and you know he's just that smart his brain is just that big and um you know since i you know we're, we're dunce caps guys we're dunce caps but you know it's it's pretty pathetic honestly it is it is it's a little short leprechaun uh trying to get money from a can a childhood cancer charity fight just think about it. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. Um, what kind of a person... And, you know, if you're in Sweetie's camp and you're watching this and you're trying to justify it, don't fucking try to justify it. It's not... I said justify it. <laughs> justify it. Oh, my God. We could talk. That's probably going to go into the bloopers. Um, <laughs> don't try to justify it. Really. I mean, there's no justification. And I don't know what he said. Well, I'm putting my life on the line. I'm, you know, I'm getting my body all blah, blah, blah. I, why shouldn't I get paid? I should get paid. You know, I'm, you know, you know, guys, you know, guys, uh, hit, hit that like button, you know, push your hands in the like button, you know, you know, Hey, Charlie, Charlie. Okay. Sorry. It's a little too much. I, uh, entered my inner sweetie. <laughs> he lives in all of us. But anyways, yeah, it's disgusting. It really is. And, you know, he says that police are disgusting and, you know, their family should be ashamed of them. Everybody should be ashamed of Sweetie at this point. Everybody. He should be ashamed of himself. Stupid fucking leprechaun. It, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, you know, I... Uh, I, you know, I, tr I, I want to not make that much content about him. I really do. But he keeps on doing stupid shit. 
And all of us have to get together and be like, hey, you can't fucking do this. And call it out. Like, it's it's crazy. It's really crazy. Um, I, I, you know, I don't think I could live with myself knowing that, you know, I took money from kids that have cancer. Now, one of the things I wanted to do, and we're, we're going to move on. Um, so, between Josh and I... Um, so I've been thinking the idea of trying to get like a bunch of local businesses together um, and maybe do something like a YouTube creator clash. I mean, that exists on the platform with these bigger YouTube channels. But what if we could actually do that something in the local area, get smaller channels, get together to do this for charity? No money. We don't want no money going to any of the YouTubers or fighters. We want the money to go to a charity, which I, my charity of choice would be any type of suicide prevention. Um, you know, I'm sure but Josh has his ideas of what he wants it to go to. Um, you know, uh, and I tell you too, Josh um, is a fucking champ. Um, you know, you might not like him. Um, and, you know, I don't know much about some of the things they say about him. Um you know, I try to, you know, look the best at some people, but some people make it really hard. But he's actually been pretty, pretty positive. You know, I haven't really got to talk a lot with him, but he has made some comments and stuff. And, you know, I, I do respect him for that. Um, but I, I know, I, listen, listen, Josh, I'm going to punch you in the face. I'm going to knock that troll hair off your fucking head. I'm just kidding. I'm. Gonna, I, I probably. I'm gonna try to. I'm. Yeah. You know, I am not good at smack talk. I'm really not. I get embarrassed. I get embarrassed. I'm just like, oh my god. You know, I. I I'm fucking cringy. I'm sorry. I'm cussing so much. Uh, they got a lot to talk about. But yeah, I would love to do that. Like, get some stuff together, local businesses and stuff. Um, you know, I. I, I reached out to. There's this wrestling promoter which I haven't heard back from. Uh, I asked him about it. Probably wasn't a good idea to ask first. There's probably more around here. Um, but the idea of it, you know, even if we don't fight, um, you know, in September, you know, we could still train and fi figure out something, uh, even if it's the beginning of the year or something like that. Um, maybe we can find something. If that gives us more time to build it up, um, train if we want to train. Um, and make an effort to, you know, continue making money for these kids. And you, you're, if you wanted to, you're allowed. I, I don't care. I mean, if you want to super chat me or, uh, send money my way, you know, that's cool, cool supporting me. I'm not going to beg for it. Not happening. I'm going to get on the, str on the stream or a YouTube video and be like, Hey, get your wallets ready. Get your it's time to fundraise. It's trying to fundraise for Christy Roan. You know, we gotta get uh five thousand dollars for that fifty-two dollar bell. You know, uh you 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 know guys, uh you know you know what I mean? Uh, it's it's that's what we gotta do. We don't stop. Fucking stupid. <laughs> it pisses me off so bad. So bad. So I'm gonna be uh, hopping on stream. Um with uh, Chad a little bit. Uh, you'll probably see me off and on. I am going to try to stream this week, by the way, uh, and maybe after the training. The first thing that ha has to happen is I have to at least get in my mile and some strength training and a little bit of sparring. You know, I don't care if it's two hours of all together. You know, I, I just want to make sure that we're I'm doing this and not giving up. And I hope you, I, I'm glad you guys are deciding to follow me. Uh, if you made it through this uh, video, this 15-minute long video, um, let me know what you guys think about, um, you know, doing some type of creator clash. Maybe give us some ideas. Um, I, you know, we have a lot of local artists, uh, local uh, content creators and stuff like that. And, you know, try to get them together. Kind of similar to like a, a Comic-Con of some sort, but, you know, for punching each other in the face. Something like <laughs> something like that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really love you guys. I'll see you soon. And be sure, if you haven't already, hit that follow button. We're almost to 1,500 followers. I would love, I would love to hit, you know, 2,500 or more by the end of the year, in the next couple months, uh, or 5,000 by the end of the year. That, that would be insane. I don't even know what to do with myself. It'd just be nuts. Like, 
I'm already, you know, happy that, you know, I'm getting 1,500, which, I, you know, we'll hit 1,500 pretty soon, and we only have a little under 30 to go, so, I mean, we can make this happen. Um, but again, guys, thank you so much. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.